Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to talk about are the books clean code and cracking the coding interview, uh, which is basically software books, are they scams or are they legit? So I'm going to break it down in this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So when I do my little researching, right, in, in regards to clean code, uh, you know, somebody said, as in all things in software, you know, the book is kind of situational like uh you know you know for example did reading uncle bob make the person make you or an i a better programmer so you know in some respects yes you can believe so uh but is it like a situation to where it's subjective right clean is subjective and you know there are some consistency issues and the time spent on a particular code base so it's kind of like a i guess it depends right uh in regards to you know, some, some of the things that people say is there's not really a sense of code cleanliness, cleanliness, and there is, you know, some adheres religiously to code style advice in a book in all situations. So, you know, in that perspective, I'm not sure if you can, you know, categorize that it's a scam because it's situational. Before I proceed, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Somebody said also design patterns like Gang of Four and, and Clean Code are a scam made up by consultants that didn't have the time to understand uh, a, a code base and wanted to parachute in and out of clients for loads of money. They were not designed to make software better. Uh, that, that, that's what somebody had to say. So, uh, you know, another thing is problems with the book that some people say, so, uh, it's interesting, but it has some problems. You know, the first is the price, you know, it starts around 50 bucks, uh, but you can get it at cheaper prices. So the fact that it is not a big book that justifies the price, it's only the name. Like when you buy an iPhone <laughs> for, for our, us iPhones, you know, this may be a, pro, uh, you know, a problem because, you know, people may not be able to afford the expense. And no, you know, the book itself also is written in Java examples and uses Java pattern modules. And so it's very Java centric. And we all know that there are other programming languages and it might not be the best course of action to, to just talk about Java, 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 Java. So again, I recommend before buying this book, just, you know, look at some of the reviews to see what's going on. Now let's, let's get into the realm of cracking the code. Now cracking the code. Some people say, would you recommend it? I don't know. Right. So they say. Some people are reluctant to, to buy the book, uh, but it takes into account, you know, most of all what a computer science degree may talk about. And, you know, I don't know, maybe if you're applying for a top tier software company, you know, it, it, it may be useful, but it doesn't really teach you how to solve problems. It assumes that, you know, basically you've already learned and it just teaches you how to approach solving the problem rather, you know, like in a short interview. So. Uh, how to communicate with your interviewer while doing stuff like that. I'm not sure because again, it, again, like I said the first time, it's kind of like a catch 22 in some respects because again, each interview is different, etc. cetera. So, uh, when, when it comes to cracking the code, I mean, it is what it is, right? Uh, so the short answer when it comes to cracking the code is it's still relevant, but it focuses more on evergreen topics like data structure and algorithms behavior interviews and general tips to do well on interviews, you know, which is basically hasn't, hasn't changed much. Right. But it focuses on topics like system design, uh, that have increased exponentially, uh, you know, things like system design, that is kind of like where the book lacks and overall, yes, it's a good book, but in a, in an ever changing landscape, like what uh, programming is from a software perspective, these books don't really get in that depth of detail to what you might want to know, especially for the price tag, like I said, in clean code of 50 bucks. So it's better doing a little bit more research on your own to find books that are a little bit more detailed because again, you all, you want a specific skill set. Yes, that is the case, but you also kind of want to broaden your skill set. You don't, you don't want to be too Java focused or too this, too that focus, because again, you might, <laughs> Uh, uh, one company might hit you with one skill set, another company. So you just kind of want to have an overall view. So that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. See you on the next video.